Oh, hey, everybody. Um, <clears throat> the first thing I wanted to tell you is that, um, you know, when I do my videos or when I watch a video, um, whether I press the button or not, oftentimes uh, the news will come on from different areas, from Dallas or from Minnesota or from wherever. The news will come on. And um, I listened to it on a delivery yesterday. Uh, and it was like maybe like a 15 minute delivery so I listened to it and I have to kind of sort of apologize to some of my people or to some of the people because on the radio what they were saying was shocking and um, I understand a little bit better now I want to make sure I say that because I know sometimes I come across as a complete dickhead, and I am, kind of. And people that have been subscribed here from my other channels that have come over, they already know about this. Um, I'm not deliberately trying to do that. I'm just so frustrated that I've kind of given up. But I will tell you, the story that I listened to yesterday, the newscast, is going to really do the trick. Um, this is a final knockout blow, knockout punch, to get 90% of the people to take their remedy. That's what that's all about. Now, folks, um, I tell you this just as a 60-year-old man. I have no evidence that I could tell you anything else. Folks, the newscast that I heard yesterday, yesterday, had I not been inoculated by Star Trek and Tom Brady and a Statue of Liberty play and an end run and a fake punt, I would have, it was even tempting for me. Stories of children dying by the boatload. Uh, babies being taken 150 miles because there's not one single bed. Folks, you figure it out for yourself. It, it Folks, it can't be people. This isn't the way it works in reality. It can't be. How can I prove that to you? I can't. I'm sorry to say. All we get is one side. Cheerleaders, one side, and how good everything is. That's what we get. And then we're fed uh, because and remember I listen to this on, on, on my phone I couldn't even watch it because I'm just listening to it as I'm making my delivery it's terrifying now you wonder why people are putting on their masks all over the place because they're bombarded with it now I did want to tell you something and I don't know if I don't know if this uh, is true everywhere but I looked at the cases and uh, on, on Google, they, they put up the amount of cases, but they are now censoring the recovery. Now, I'm going to show you. I don't know if it is or not. I checked the Philippines, okay? So I'm going to do that in front of you right now. And you see, these are the things that you have to start to look at because they're simply not going to show you any professionals that are not on board with this. They're not gonna show you. That, that's, it's not gonna happen. You're not going to get any stories ever that are gonna be telling you anything about anything that isn't cheerleading. And this is why you have to start learning on your 60 years of existence in this life. And what is reality and what isn't. That's the problem. And I'm going to go now uh, on right in front of you, and then i got to cut out of here. 
Um, and we're going to check the Philippines uh, death toll. Okay. So let me let me go on here. COVID nineteen. COVID nineteen death in the Philippines. Okay. Here's the site. This is coming from Google. Okay. And here are the numbers. Now, I'm going to see if this holds what I just told you, okay? It's giving all these statistics, okay? Okay. I want you folks to look at this because this worries me. I want you to look at this. There are now 29,122 deaths uh, uh, according to this. And I'm just showing you these figures, okay? I'm just showing you these figures. This is coming out of the Philippines, okay? Now, you can't see it, but I'm gonna show it to you and then we're gonna end the video. Every time I went on here, they showed the cases, which they're showing, 1.66 million, as you can see. Uh, I'm sorry, folks, I'm gonna try to get this without glare. 1.66 million, do you see it? Cases, well, there's 29,000 dead. How many cases are there? Uh, sorry, folks, I'm trying to do this so you don't think that I'm trying to mislead you, okay? Uh, you'll have to take my word for it. 1.66 million. How many cases are recovered? How many are recovered? There's the death. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. Uh, you'll have to take my word for this, and I'm trying hard. Okay. How many are recovered? We've got 1.66. Come on, you bastard. 1.66. I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry I have to do this. I don't want to be accused of false information. 1.66 million uh, uh, cases, and how many have recovered? They took it off. Why do you think they took it off? I know why. You know why? Because I saw it yesterday, and if you dig deeper into this and you go through the channels, you'll see that it's almost one, I, I don't want to say the figure, but it's very high. Now, for those of you who can think that still have a brain and aren't terrified beyond your skin, if there's a very, very high recovery rate, the last figure I saw was 1.49 million out of 1. Point, or no, 1.51 I think is what it was, out of 1.66. It means there's a very, very high recovery rate. And for those of you that don't understand, in the Philippines they're so wealthy, the average person living in the uh, squ uh, squalor, that they all have 20 to 30 canisters of oxygen for each person, right? or wrong folks this is the only way you are going to see what is happening here it is an embarrassment and it is obviously mind control of the people and you can't understand it until you start breaking down the figures that they're providing us from Google and now they don't want to tell us how many are recovered you know why because it starts to wake you up if you have a brain Folks, we are in such deep trouble. I don't have time to do the news. Please, do your homework. And do not just instantaneously take to heart what the, the, the main newscasts are telling you. It's time for you to be uh, critiquing it. Okay? Take care. I got to get busy. Love you guys. Uh, please don't think I'm a prick. If you met me in person, you'd probably think I was a decent guy. Okay? Bye.